Hi Floss Tube, it's Julie with Reflections Framing and Stitching, back for video number 24. Um, it is Saturday, December the 15th, late in the afternoon. Um, the shop is now closed. Uh, this should not be too long a video. I'm, I'm just mainly here to let people know where to find my uh, eggnog punch recipe. I do have a few things I, to show you, but um, not a whole lot. And, and um, I don't usually get too terribly chatty, so it should be on the shorter side anyway. But who knows? You'll know. But um, anyway, welcome everybody. Uh, I hope you're all ready for the holidays. Um, I'm pretty much ready, maybe. I still have my son-in-law. He's a tough one to buy for, so... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'll get him. Uh, Abby told me that everything on his list was over a thousand dollars, so that ain't happening. Sorry, Travis. Um, anywho, um, I am a little bit under the weather, so if I start to cough and need to take a drink, I apologize. My sinus infection that I was fighting over the Thanksgiving has come back with a vengeance. So I did take myself off to the doctor and I'm on a different antibiotic. So hopefully that will kick it to the curb and um, I can start to feel a little better. So anyway, I'm going to start, what am I gonna start with? I think I will start with, um, I, have, I have a finish. It's actually been done for about a year. It's just been waiting its turn to be framed. And um, I don't know, somehow that turn never quite happened. So now that I'm somewhat caught up with the framing, uh, I thought maybe I would, I would get her done. I ha she's, she's mostly done. I didn't put the glass on her because of the, the whole glare thing. I thought maybe y'all would appreciate not not having the glare. So this is Tuscan Rose. I forgot to pull the chart. Um, I believe it's a Sampler Cove pattern, um, which you can still get Sampler Cove. I believe the designer has retired though, but you can still get the charts through Tinky Dyes if I'm remembering correctly. Excuse me. Um, this one was so much fun to stitch. The colors are pretty. Um, it had some, I don't know, do you call it black work if it's green and red? I don't know. Um, back stitch work, sort of, kind of. Um, had a beautiful variegated floss. I think the, one, the, the colors that I used um, our Vicki Clayton silks, which of course you can't get anymore. So I'm really not sure um, I'm not sure what you would use to stitch it, but I'm sure we could come up with something. Um, Carrie's has some colors that are similar, so I think we could probably probably come up with something that would work fine. Anyway, um, I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm supposed to be looking at you. Um, this is Tuscan Rose. I'm going to come in, let's see, we'll start down here. And go slowly upwards. back off so you can see the whole thing. Love the colors. Love the same. Enjoyed the stitch. I'm glad it's framed and it will look beautiful on the wall. So there is that one. Uh, and then I have the piece that I rescued from the brass armadillo, 
a while back. I don't think I've shown it to you. I feel like I've shown it to you, but I think that was in the video that disappeared and that you guys never got to see. So I feel like I've shown it to you, but I don't think I have. But if I have, I apologize for showing it again. Just yell at me or something. Let me know. I'm, well, I'm sure someone will let me know. Anyway, um, Morning Song, I think is what it's called. And you're going to see glare on this one because... There. See, I so feel like you've seen this. But I, I don't know. So anyway, I just used mats and a frame that was already sitting here. Um, I did a little debossing in the suede mat that you can see down there. But I think she turned out really nice. And she looks nice on the wall. And that's all the time I'm going to spend on that because I still feel like I showed it to you. But I didn't see it in my last video, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, this piece is an old, 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 really old. Um, Stony Creek, I think, maybe. Sounds right. Um, and it was framed for a long, long time, and of course it looked like it was framed for a long, long time. So I decided to reframe it and hang it opposite Dan's, um, you know, he finished that uh, scenic farm from Dimensions, and I thought this piece would go really well close to it. So I decided to reframe it, kind of update it a little bit. Um, I wanted to restretch it because the stretching job I didn't I didn't frame it originally, um, so the stretching job it was is a little not up to my standards. But when I took it apart, uh, it had been framed with acid mats, and the mats uh, the acid burned the fabric. So I think. It would be it would show if I moved it any because it is stretched so crooked. I think parts of the acid burn would show. So um, I'm just going to leave it stretched the way it is. Again, I left the glass off you, so you don't you don't have the glare. It's a, I, I have a thing with mills, water wheels. I like them. My village had a working one. The water went through the and turned the turned the wheel, and it was really cool. But anyway, I think I don't even have it the back on this. But I was going to see if you could see the the acid burn. I don't know if you can or not. I, maybe a little bit. You can see that there's a line right along here that's where it's darker. This is darker up here. That is from where the acid mats burn the fabric. So it's just going to have to stay that way. Um, technically, I should probably take it apart, wash it, um, restretch it, and if the acid burn showed, just let it show. But I, I'm not going to do that with this piece. It's not one of my all-time favorites. Um, I just thought it would look nice hanging in the family room. So there it is. Um, and then I have one piece from the wall I was going to show you. Last time I showed you um, the new chart, Christmas chart from Little Dove Designs. And um, this is an older one from Little Dove. It's also a Christmas chart called Noel Noel.
and I believe this is either stitched on truffle or earthen. I'm I'm leaning towards earthen. It's a 32 count. Connie stitched it up for the shop. Mm -hmm. But it's just a sweet little piece. And I thought you might enjoy seeing it. Got a just a couple things new this week in the store. Um, Kathy Barracks Esther. And everyone that's seen this is like, oh, it needs a darker fabric, it needs a darker fabric. Well, remember, don't ever go by the picture. The picture doesn't show things correctly. Um, it's actually stitched on doubloon, which is much darker than that picture shows. This is doubloon. And these are the colors, the DMC colors. Not, I didn't pull, I don't have all the N NPI silks, so I didn't pull those. Um, oops. Something's not big enough. My hands, something here, there. So I think the the sheep would show up fine on on the doubloon, but if you wanted something a little bit darker, um, this is vintage meadow rue from Lakeside Linens. Now you're probably not going to be able to see the color real well, but. It would work just fine too. Depends on on what look you want. So don't think that don't think that this is too light. It's it's just the photo. It's not it'd be fine on the called for fabric. And Kathy also had a second release. Also it called for doubloon. This one is Dear Santa. There, that's better. Lot of brown in this one. A lot of brown. Very little green. Mostly brown. This is kind of a gray green. And that's about as green as you get in this. Everything else is shades of brown except for 3777. No. 355. Sorry. Um and again, to bloom works really well. Something's going to fall. But you could probably get away with Legacy, too, if you wanted something a little more, um, like if you, if you didn't like the goldness of doubloon, which is pretty gold. Um, Legacy tends to have more green to it these days. That's a pretty good representation. And I think I think the colors work nicely on there also. So you could do either. Both are very cute charts. 
um, the next two, three that I have, three, tiny modernist. This one I know will fly out of here. In fact, one did today. I had it laying back here on the table and a person came in and saw it lying back on the table and said, oh, is that for sale? And I said, well, yeah, of course. And so out it went the, through the door, but Cardinal Biscornu, Nicole Buckeye. This has your name all over it. Very pretty. Uses DMC. Lots of back stitching in it, but it's very pretty. Um, gnome for the holidays. Also very cute. Look at those little gnomies. Aren't they cute? Look at her little pigtails. I tried to do pigtails once. They did not look like that. Mm -mm. I gave up. Put a ponytail on instead. That one's cute. And then this one, um, for Halloween she came out with, uh, they were Halloween signs. I don't know, I can't remember if that was the the actual name of the chart, but this one is Christmas Signs, which is also adorable. Absolutely adorable. Probably not enough time for anyone to get them stitched before Christmas. Well, I suppose some of you could. But for next year, these are really cute. And that's really all I have that's that's new to show you as far as um, that goes. I do have a thrift store find. Um, I was shopping for my daughter-in-law and happened to spy this on the table. It was seven dollars. Uh, little teapot with the petty point on it. Let's see. There you go. It's got a couple chips, but I don't probably intend to use the lid anyway. I'm certainly not going to use it as a teapot because I don't. There's some cracks down in the bottom, you know, some crazing. Um, but I thought some flowers would be nice in there. So I picked it up and brought it home with me. And that. See, I told you this wasn't going to be very long. That is all I have, um, with the exception of if you are interested in the um, eggnog punch recipe, I posted it on my old blog, which is, and I'll, I'll try and remember to put it down in, the, down in the box below, but just in case I forget, it is www.crossthatleg.com dot blogspot dot com so www dot cross that leg blogspot dot com um, and it's you know the top post because I haven't posted to the blog in since I bought the shop I think the last post I made was right after I signed the lease for this place and I haven't I haven't posted since then so I figured everyone can get to that easily. You don't have to be a member. Um, you don't have to search for anything. It's just right up there at the top. So um, I hope everyone that tries it likes it. I know I'm looking forward to having the neighbors over and having some myself. So anyway, that's, that's all I have. Um, I'm going to go home and crash. And I think I have to make Christmas cookies tomorrow, the cookie press uh, cookies, so that I can get 
um, some packaged up for Amy and off in the mail to her. And, um, but I think that's all I plan to do tomorrow is to make some cookies and then just sit and try and let the antibiotic do its thing. I don't think this antibiotic is really liking me a whole lot though. So it better, it better kick this sinus infection because um, it's making me miserable. Um, I hope you all, I will, I will absolutely not be back before Christmas. Uh, I don't have it, I haven't stitched in, I don't know, I haven't stitched in at least a week. So um, I probably won't stitch much before Christmas, so I won't have anything really to show you. It's kind of the dead zone for um, cross stitch supplies, so not much new will be coming in. Um, so I will not be back before Christmas. I hope all of you enjoy your holidays. I hope everyone is safe that is traveling. Um, and take care until next time.